ஹலோ ஹவாய் ஆல் டூயிங் டுடே நீங்கள் எல்லாரும் எப்படி இருக்கிறீங்க என் பேர் ஜலால் இந்த கமெண்ட்ஸ் காலம் ஆஃப் த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ தெர் வாஸ் அ ரிக்வஸ்ட் ஃப்ரம் மேக்ஸ் பாரதி ஆஸ்கிங் மீ டு டீச் சம் டிப்ஸ் டு இம்ப்ரூவ் வொக்கேபுலரி ஸோ இன் திஸ் லெசன் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு டீச் யூ டென் டிப்ஸ் டு இம்ப்ரூவ் வொக்கேபுலரி வொக்கேபுலரி மீன்ஸ் வேர்ட்ஸ் தெர் வாஸ் எட் அனதர் ரிக்வஸ்ட் ஃப்ரம் உமா மகேஸ்வரி she she wanted me to take uh, the entire video class in english uh, telling a story storytelling in english so i am not going to tell a story right now i am going to teach you only the 10 tips to improve vocabulary but in english i am not going to take the class in tamil at all so you can improve both the vocabulary and also listening to english let's get started so in this lesson i am going to give you 10 tips as to how to improve vocabulary you follow them and uh, you will definitely pick up a lot of vocabulary lot of words and uh, your english will be uh, very fluent in due course of time the first tip to understand is you should enjoy the process of uh, learning uh, vocabulary you should enjoy it don't take it as a tough task don't learning vocabulary shouldn't feel like a chore chore means a routine work uninteresting work that is like a chore you should enjoy the process you should enjoy learning it i used to enjoy learning new words when i was a small boy language is something to explore not just to memorize memorize means to mug up if you list out about uh, no 10 words a day and try to mug up you will forget soon because whatever you learned has to be applied in practice you should uh, use those words in your speech and uh, writing then only you will commit to those uh, words into memory into to memory otherwise you will forget so don't memorize you try to explore explore means you try to find out new meanings and all you know that is uh, explore so the first tip is to enjoy the process second tip is to read regularly uh if you can you read a newspaper every day regularly but it's uh, difficult to understand a newspaper language because they write in journalistic uh, english it's very very difficult uh because when i was a small boy in the degree cl- uh, degree course during the degree course my principal used to advise all of us all of you must read hindu paper every day i attempted it but i failed to continue it because i couldn't understand anything honestly speaking it's very difficult but after i finished my degree class i wanted to really improve english i started reading uh, english newspaper hindu newspaper every day and i started understanding gradually i picked up uh, the vocabulary lot of vocabulary so reading newspaper is an important tip if you can you read it and of course uh, i am not uh, suggesting you to read big books complicated books fictions and uh, fiction spins story books and all it's very difficult to understand so to, to start with you read small books story books for example ramayan mahabharata and all you can read because you know the story after you know the story when you read it you will understand you will understand uh, what uh, the text uh, what the book is uh, trying to tell us so you will pick up a lot of vocabulary if you read the uh, story books small books so you are subject books also suppose uh, you are doing economics ba economics or bsc zoology subject related books also you can read this is how i picked up uh, my vocabulary i was a bsc zoology student so words like anterior posterior vertical and all that no i learned from my subject only you can learn a lot of words from your subject itself so it will serve a dual purpose you will learn your subject and also english so you have to do active reading when you read you try to understand the meaning so that is uh, the active reading third important point is third tip is contextual uh, reading context if you when you read if you don't understand the meaning of any particular word 
don't rush to look at uh, the dictionary look uh, look for the look for the meaning of the word in the dictionary uh, because you will lose the charm of reading you will lose interest in reading so don't uh, look at the meaning immediately you try to understand the meaning of the word with reference to the context that is the point contextual learning suppose uh, in the newspaper you read about today's weather condition nowadays it's raining in chennai so when you read it even if you don't understand a particular word from the context because they are talking about the rains and weather condition you will understand it words like intermittent rain heavy rain storm and all could be new words you will learn it with reference to the context so contextual learning is important don't rush to uh, look for the meaning in the dictionary and of course uh, if you don't understand from the context you can underline those words later in the day you can uh, see the dictionary there are two types of uh, referral books one is uh, dictionary another is uh, thesaurus thesaurus is a little high standard for advanced english because it gives a lot of uh, like uh, you know the origin of the word the uh, antonyms uh, synonyms and so many things it gives say synonyms is uh, the similar words words having similar meaning antonyms is the words having opposite meanings so even from the web uh, dictionary like merriam webster merriam webster is a american english dictionary i have given the link in the dis- description box you can uh, click uh, the url and save it to your computer or uh, mobile phone you can refer to the dictionary because it's a very nice uh, dictionary merriam webster the second dictionary is of course uh, cambridge dictionary you can uh, keep the url with you and click and uh, see the meaning so in the in those dictionaries they give the synonyms antonyms and uh, the uh, derivatives those things are given so talking about uh, uh, so the every day the next point is learn new words daily at least five words you should learn daily and note down those words in a book notebook or a diary at the end of the day you can note down the words you have learned so later you can refer the book and try to understand the meaning so that's how you can develop so write uh, learn new words daily five new words at least engage in conversation that is you should start speaking in english it's easier said than done to advise you that you should engage in conversation in english is easy but to follow is very difficult namatta yaar pesrak pakkathla yaar english pesrak yaarume illa there is no one to talk to everybody speaks in tamil only so how are you going to learn english spoken english you can use uh, small words like excuse me come later i want to see you and all that you know hang up the phone pick up the phone like that you can you know use small words these uh, daily use sentences i have taught uh, many lessons in the uh, youtube you can click uh, click uh, those uh, you can see those videos to improve your daily use languages these are all ready made sentences you can use them while speaking you try to go through the lessons again and again so you will pick up a lot of uh, sentences you can use them because speaking the uh, language is very very important unless you start speaking you cannot uh, pick up the language at all of course initially you will feel shy you will feel very scared to open your mouth and speak in english but in due course over a period of time you will uh, you know get rid of the shyness and start speaking but you have to make a sincere attempt so you have to engage in conversation that is the next point now if you are studying in the college and all you can speak to your lecturers in english you can raise your doubts ask your doubts in english so that's how you have to develop your spoken language if you go to a mall and all you know mall in the mall the sales people they speak good english you can speak to them so you have to engage in conversation that is the fifth point next uh, tip is write regularly so even if you learn it unless you write you won't commit those words in memory to memory you won't commit those words to memory 
So to keep uh, to remember them is important. How will you remember the words you have learnt by writing? So at the end of the day, after eight thirty or nine o'clock in the night, before going to bed, you write the words you have learnt. Write something, not only words. Write something. What uh, what has happened to you to you during the day, from the morning till evening? You write uh, in English in the diary or a notebook. Uh, try to use the new words you learnt by writing. You will develop your English. You will develop. Uh, you will remember the words you you use. So writing is important. You keep it as a practice. Uh, uh, treat it as a practice. You you may use a diary or uh, the notebook to uh, maintain a diary to write every day. Next, uh, this thing is uh, use vocabulary apps and games. And of course, uh, you are all modern people. I am have become bit old. So you can look up to the apps. Apps are available in the Play Store. You can download and keep for vocabulary improvement or conversational improvement. You can learn them. So I don't have to teach much about it. You know better. You have to download and keep it on a mobile or computer to learn a new vocabulary. This is another tip. The next tip is going to be very important. Group words by teams. Teams na or or a samanda patter. For example, weather condition is a theme. So you have to group the words under weather conditions. Weather condition related uh, words like you know torrential rain, intermittent rain, cloudy uh, cloudy sky, uh, inclement weather, or scorching sun, very hot. Abhi ro words na in weather condition you can uh, remember you have group all these words. Yeah, according to the theme, the theme here is weather condition. So you have to uh, write down the words relating to, to. You have to read and uh, pick up those words and uh, write it down under the uh, under the group. So you will not forget it. Themes like uh, the weather condition, of course. So food relating to food also you can write. It's a hot and spicy food. Uh, the food is very hot. Food is very tasty, delicious. Some shoes and all this relating to the food you can write about the table manners, how to sit uh, in the table and eat. Don't burp in front of others. Burp is yapam potrad. So relating to the food and the eating habits, you can group them. Uh, likewise, uh, daily routines you can write them about cooking, especially ladies who do the cooking day in and day out. You can learn a lot of words like uh, heat up. Uh, heat up the boil the milk. Heat up the water. Uh, cook uh, uh, cook well. Stir it. Stir it means kindred. Stir it. Light the stove. Uh, like that you can uh, this thing. So relating to food also you can uh, write group them and you will not forget when you group them. And the traffic conditions. Of course, uh, if you live in the city, this is the hot topic. Every day people discuss about the traffic condition. Oh, it's a very heavy traffic today. So jam packed like that. No words you can pick up and uh, write. So there is a uh, air pollution everywhere. So these are all words. So and then about the uh, travel also travel, uh, check in and uh, check out, check in baggage, luggage, uh, tedious travel. So very pleasant journey like that. You know you can pick up uh, these words. You group the words under these themes and uh, pick up the words. I have taught a lot of lessons in the YouTube and uh, relating to weather condition, relating to food, uh, relating to daily, uh, daily you, your da daily chores uh, and all that I have given. So about cooking and all I give weather condition and all. So you can learn a lot of words. And the ninth point is this is also equally important. So you should uh, when you learn a new word, you must also Learn its derivatives. Derivatives means the words arising out of it, like adjectives, adverbs, and all. For example, I will give you some examples. If you learn the word beauty, beauty is a noun. Beautify is a verb, and beautician is related to prof profession. Beautiful is adjective, so you can learn beautiful building. Abdin Solala. So it's a uh, uh, like that, you know. 
in the place of learning one word, you will learn five, six words. It's a derivatives. Create, for example, create is a word. Create, creation, creative, creativity, creator. Who is the creator? Who we consider as the creator? The God is the creator for all the uh, living things and non-living things on the earth. So, creator. And then inspire. Inspire is a nice word. Inspire. All in the one the words one the inspiration, inspirational, inspired. Dr. APJ Atul Kalam's speech is very inspirational. Nalla na unachiya thukvikya kodiya thava irundadi. Namlodiya ennangala thukvikya ukvikya kodiya thava irundadi. So inspirational. And when you listen to Dr. APJ Atul Kalam, you get inspired. Inspired is a word. So from the word inspire, you learn so many words. And the next word is improve. From improve, you can learn improvement, improving, improved. So when you learn a particular word, it's a derivative. The words arising from that also must be learned to improve your vocabulary. This is my point. Tenth point is you should uh, know the roots. Roots means anywhere, madi abdint. You should also learn prefixes and suffixes. So prefixes is the words, the few uh, uh, word, uh, letters coming in front of the word and a suffix means a few letters coming after the words. From, for one word, if you learn prefixes and suffixes, you will learn 10 more words. There, there are lessons. Uh, I have uh, taught uh, many lessons about the prefixes and suffixes. I have given the link uh, below this video in the description box. Click them and uh, lean. It will serve useful purpose. So, prefixes and defixes. And you should uh, study the roots. What is the root root of the word? For example, you uh, learn the word biology. Root of the word is bio. Bio means life. So, biology means the science of, uh, science of uh, uh, living organisms. Adam biology. Biography. Graphy is the story. Uh, bio means uh, life, life story of somebody, biography. Mahatma, Mahatma Gandhi's biography. From the word root word, micro, you have you will know a lot of words. Microscope, microbiology, microwave, like that, if you know the roots. Likewise, port, P-O-R-T, port, port means to carry. From that word, you will learn a lot of words, like transport, import, export, like that. So, these are the 10 tips. Before I uh, end this le lesson, in conclusion, I want to say that whatever words you learn, you should commit to memory. You should commit to, you retain the words in memory. How will you retain the words in memory? By writing and using them. While speaking and writing, use the words. And if you learn a particular word, you try to use the word in your writing or uh, speaking, Immediately, without any loss of, before you forget, you will try to use them. So, this is how you have to retain the words you uh, learn. And you have to visualize the word. Visualize means, imagine, for example, inspirational speech. Dr. Abdul Kalam picture of the mind in the world. Inspirational. For example, if you learn the word export import. The ship on the it's departing from is uh, uh, port going away from the country. A ship is going away from the port that is exporting. Ship coming into the port that is importing. So you should imagine visualize like this. When you visualize, you will not forget uh, many things like this. So uh, these are the tips and also in conclusion, I'm saying trying to retain the memory because. Uh, to remember the words is important, as much important as learning new words. Another remember Panaga, you will definitely improve. I have improved. I was also from a Tamil medium school and I gradually within 5-10 years, 5-6 uh, years, I uh, learnt a lot of words. The more you learn, it is better for you to speak well and to write well. So, you will use the appropriate, correct word in the correct place. Uh, so, it will be very convincing. Your speech and uh, writing will be very convincing to others if you use the correct words. So, learning vocabulary is important 
and try to listen to English videos. English videos, English programs. You will definitely improve. I hope you found this lesson useful to you. If you like the way I teach you, please click the like button and share this video among your friends. And to watch similar useful educational videos, please click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and bye-bye.